All right, we're back again on part three. We're moving right along to Sin Collector. When Sin Collector enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose an instant or sorcery card from it and exile that card. Rot Farm Skeleton, we just talked about in part two. Wear and Tear, we already talked about. Yes! Awesome! Planeswalker, Rawl, Zarek. Oh, yes, awesome. So you can read what he does just right there. I am so stoked about this. Oh, yes. Okay, so plus one, tap target permanent, then untap another target permanent. Minus two, Raul Zarek deals three damage to target creature or player. Minus seven, flip five coins, take an extra turn after this one for each coin that comes up heads. Rad. Azorius, Azorius, yeah, Guildgate. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh man, this has been an awesome, epic, epic unboxing. You know, and we still got a lot left. Maw of Obzadat, already talked about. Down and Dirty, I don't think we already talked about this. Target player discards two cards for black and green, dirty, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Bread for the hunt. Sire of Insanity, Simic Guildgate. Sin Collector, Gleam of Battle. Whenever a creature you control attacks, put a 1 1 counter on it. Nice. Uh, turn and Burn, we talked about. Blood Scrivener. I wanted this, too, from my zombie deck that I'm going to build soon. If you would draw a card while you have no cards in your hand, instead draw two cards and lose one life. Nice. Boral Skilled Gate. Carnage Gladiator. Whenever a creature blocks, that creature's controller loses one life. If you pay three, regenerate Carnage Gladiator. Good uncommon card. I like it. Feral Animist. Already talked about. Profit and Loss. Possibility Storm. We talked about. And Selesnia Guildgate. We just talked about this. It's a good card. I'm glad that there's that I've gotten two. Armed and Dangerous, we already talked about. Putrefy? Putrefy? Putrefy. I think. <laughs> Destroy target artifact or creature, and it can't be regenerated. That's a good card. Skylasher. Flash. Skylasher can't be countered. Reach. Protection from blue. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great card. Orzov Guildgate. All right, I think we're down to the last six packs. This is the seventh before the last. Anyway, unflinching courage we did talk about. Restore the peace. Nice. Crassus Incubation. Ooh, that artwork is creepy. So, enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. If you pay three... One man, one colorless, one green, and one blue. Return Crassus Incubation to its owner's hand. Put two one-one counters on Enchanted Creature. Oof. Ooh, Legion's Initiative. That is cool. Red creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. White creatures you control get plus zero, plus one. And if you pay one red and one white, exile this and exile all creatures I control and then at the beginning of the next combat return those creatures to the battlefield under their owner's control and those creatures gain haste until end of turn and boros gift gate all right I officially really like this <laughs> we have more than six packs wow okay we've got this is nine Nice. I never wanted to end. <laughs> Far away. Far. Return target creature to its owner's hand. And away. Target player sacrifices a creature. Species Gorger. Corazdo Gorgon. Oh, 
Yes, I wanted this merfolk super bad. Oh my gosh, okay. I started out playing Magic with a merfolk deck, so I have, you know, special love for any merfolk. Um, so if you pay one green and one blue mana and you tap this, for each counter on target artifact, creature, or land, put another of those counters on that permanent. Ooh, and a beetle form mage. It's just a common though. Eh. Gruel Guild Gate. Carnage Gladiator, Putrefy, Profit and Loss, yes, another Mind Drinker Vampire, this rocks, okay, I am super happy, now I just need the other vampire another time, or maybe, you know, twice, <laughs> or a foil of it, okay, Jelen Sphinx, Restore the Peace, Gorzdo Gorgon. Ooh, Etherling! I wanted this card. I'm glad that it came in here. So if you don't know what it does, you can just read it right there. It's a little bit too long for me to read right now. My energy is zapped out for the night. <laughs> Golgaria Gilgate. So if you wanted to read that, I hope you paused it, because I think I went too fast. <laughs> Bronze Beak Moa. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Bronze Beak Moa gets my plus three, plus three until end of turn. Gleam of Battle. Goblin Test Pilot. Renounce the Guilds. Each player sacrifices a multicolored permanent. Wow. Soil in Trouble, we talked about. Bronze Beak Moa, we just talked about. Flux Charger, we talked about already. Ooh, Tajik Blade of the Legion, he's a legendary creature. He is indestructible and he's got Batillion, which is whenever it and at least two other creatures attack it, it gets plus five, plus five until end of turn. Weesh, I wouldn't want to play against that. Oh man. Glad I have it. Ascended Law Mage. Flying and Hexproof. Nice uncommon card. Give and take. We already read about. Rot Farm Skeleton. Already read. Catch and Release. Catch. Gain control of target permanent until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. Each player sacrifices an artifact, a creature, and... An enchantment, a land, and a planeswalker. Jeez. And a Boros Guild Gate foil. And a Demir Guild Gate, not foil. Oops. Ascended Law Mage again. Happy I have that. It's a great card. Ooh, yes. Tristani's Summoner again. We talked about this, I think, in the first uh, video of, of this. Turn and burn. And, ooh, yes! Okay, Tesa, Envoy of the Ghost. She's got vigilance and protection from creatures, and whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, destroy that creature. Put a 1-1 white and black spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. She rocks. You know, she looks like she rocks, too. Um, Fatal Fumes is a foil, but it's just, you know, common. All right. Two packs left. What do we got? Two packs left. Maw of the Obsidet, I don't care for. Fe far and away. Goblin Test Pilot. Zurta Ancient. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one. Oh yeah, we talked about this one already. It's a good card. Selesnia Guildgate. Oh, I did not mean to hit camera while I was trying to open stuff. Sorry about that, guys. Alive and Well. Rot Farm Skeleton, Bread for the Hunt, Breaking and Entering, 
Breaking. Target player puts the top eight cards of his or her library into her graveyard and entering. Put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gains haste until end of turn. And Rakdos Guildgate. Nice. All right. Well, I got all the cards I wanted. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right. Have a good night, guys.